guys, what's up? It's Kelly Kolb here. Um, today, kind of what I got going on for you guys is my August and September favorites. And really, it's about almost halfway through September right now. And the reason why I'm doing my August and September favorites mashed together is because I simply didn't have time to do my August favorites last month. And within the months of August and September, I kind of really haven't bought very much new stuff, so this is the new stuff that I've been loving. Yeah, so I'm just super duper excited to share all of my products with you guys today. Um, if you guys haven't tuned in before for my favorites videos, I'll link them right up here and they'll be linked down below as well. So basically what goes on in my favorites videos is I go over five categories, which are babies. <laughs> beauty, bathroom, clothing, activities, and food. And uh, so I have a couple different things here for you guys today. So I'm just going to get started into my beauty section. I'm going to start out with the first thing and I'm really, really super duper excited about this because this is the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. Am I holding it upside down? You know I'm not. <laughs> this has been my absolute love since my birthday because this is like the only gift that I got for my birthday really like other than like family stuff but it is so gorgeous and like honestly I've been really enjoying like super natural looks all the time lately and like I'll go without makeup but when I do like to really get funky with makeup this is like the perfect palette for it because it just has all of these gorgeous sparkly colors see i still have like the film on it because oh this palette needs to stay beautiful forever it really just is so gorgeous and honestly like even if you don't think the colors are super universal i use them in so many different ways like the light pink I especially like using as an inner corner highlighter and I just really enjoy Urban Decay and I've been wanting this palette ever since it came out and I'm so excited about the liquid moon dust eyeshadows that just came out and I'm looking to invest in them but for now I'm just going to take my time and take all my sparkliness from this palette right here because it's gorgeous. Okay, so my next makeup products are face products, and this is because I've been kind of more focusing on my face, and I've gotten a couple comments about this, that my bronzers come off a little bit orange, or my blushes, and so I was just like, you know what, you guys, I'm gonna take your advice, and I'm gonna go get some different products, and so going to college, I decided this is going to be my splurge part, and I did invest in a new bronzer and highlighter that I'm absolutely loving this month, and first of all, the bronzer, this is super duper mainstream, but my favorite bronzer for this month is going to be the Hoola bronzer, only because the color is absolutely gorgeous and it doesn't come off orange, it doesn't come off brown or gray either. It's a nice perfect neutral and I'm actually wearing it today and I'm just, uh, I'm absolutely loving it. And it's really awesome because it comes with the little brush inside here and it feathers out and it sheds really easily so that's kind of annoying. But other than that I get a nice crisp line and then it's also soft enough to blend it out and just make it... Um, the next face product that I'm going to show you guys is this highlighter. I honestly have been looking at this highlighter for a couple months and it's just so gorgeous. This is the Josie Moran Argan Enlightenment Illuminizing Veil. So it's like technically like an illuminizing veil, but it's basically a highlighter. It's literally like a mirror, like you can see my camera and like my light and stuff, but um, it just says Josie Moran and the only thing I don't like is that the name is like this and then it opens up sideways instead of the name being right here and opening up like you know up and down <laughs> it's almost um the color of champagne pop from becca i just really like it because it's almost a little bit less creamy and it's more of a powder base and i feel like i don't like i won't hit pan as easily with this as i would if i were to get champagne pop Oh, it's so gorgeous. And I'm so glad that I splurged a little bit and got myself a new glow because my glows were just not working for me before. So this has definitely been my go-to product for highlighter. Okay, still being on face products, I don't know if you guys saw that I have this little MAC palette, but I just have like a single blush in here. I'm going to be talking about the blush in the color Tenderling from MAC. It's actually a really gorgeous neutral pink and it's almost like mauve-ish but it's very toned down and I just love this for like my more natural looks when I just want to 
bring a little bit more color to my face and oh, I've just been loving it so much. I'm gonna hit pan so hard soon. Like it's denting crazy. <laughs> I actually did not buy this. This was a gift from my sister cause she just didn't want it anymore. And this blush is probably close to four years old but that's okay because I'm still loving it and it's still working for me. So um, I did use this blush in my last makeup tutorial. If you guys wanna go check that out, I'll link it right up here. Okay fam, so that is it for the beauty products and I'm going to move on to bathroom. I just have one bathroom product for you guys today and that is the Beauty Blender Cleanser Solid Soap. And this stuff is so amazing. Honestly, I've made it last um, three months, I wanna say, and I'm still going strong and I wash my brushes and my beauty blender at least once a week. Well, I wash my beauty blender like twice a week, but um, I wash my brushes at least once a week, two every two weeks. I don't wanna say that I hit pan on this soap, but I did, there's a hole in the middle at this point and it's getting pretty thin but this has been my holy grail for like any type of brush cleaning that I need to do. I used to use the brush cleaner from Bare Minerals and honestly I went through it like that and my brushes were never like as clean as they were with this and this just really gets it out and what's awesome about this little product is when you open it they actually give you a nice little scrubby so I definitely use this for my brush but I wouldn't understand why you would use it for your beauty blender. I feel like it would almost like tear it up a little bit on the outside if you were to scrub it with this and like push the product inside and I really focus on pulling the product out of the beauty blender and trying not to damage it so I don't use this for the beauty blender but I use it for my brushes but all in all this soap is amazing I can't wait to go spend the $16 to go get another one because I absolutely love 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 this soap okay guys so next I'm going to be talking about the category of clothing and I'm going to start out with my favorite 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 piece of clothing that I've ever bought ever and that I've wanted for like literally years. I'm kind of bummed that I had to spend um over $50 with shipping and handling and everything on this pair this piece of clothing but honestly it was so worth it. I bought a pair of mom jeans and they actually arrived on the day that I was filming my move-in vlog and I got them from PacSun. They're just really simple you know high-waisted as you can see they have an absolute mom butt because they're high-waisted um they are just light denim and freaking soft as can be like oh my gosh i love these so 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 much because they are a true mom jean they are going to be cropped so they end a little bit after my calves and a little bit before my ankles so it's just enough room to peek through some high top shoes or some really thick socks when I'm wearing sandals or something. And I just think they're very 90s and very um, Friends-esque. What I usually style them with is a fun sweater or like a crop top or something, something that kind of like goes with them. I just like think of what would Rachel Green wear in Friends and that's just kind of like how it happens in my outfit, but oh my gosh, I'm so in love with them. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to talk about for clothing is actually this choker that I'm wearing right now. It's just a simple like it's like a mesh choker so it like there's no tie on the back or anything it's just all one thing and to get it over your head you just like pull it like this and as you can see it all goes together it's very 90s very simple and I got it in a three pack actually from I always want to say hot topic no it was from zoomies I got them in a three pack from zoomies and it came I got a braided one with a gold chain and then I also got a thick black um velvet velvet one and it actually has a little medallion that hangs down from it but this one's definitely my favorite and it's starting to get stretched out because I use it so much but oh my gosh I love chokers chokers are like so in right now and honestly like I'm really into the whole like 90s style and everything so I'm just really enjoying these Whoa. Okay, you guys, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is activities, and because I'm doing both um, August and September activities together, um, I actually wanted to talk about two activities today, which is a little bit different for me. So, first of all, I'm going to talk about my August favorite activity, which was actually longboarding, and I'm still longboarding during September and everything, but um, for August, I just figured here's a cute little clip of me and my friend Vivian. Um, we just went out longboarding and um, I kind of took some footage of her because she's adorable and it's just so much fun. Basically the reason why this is my favorite activity for the month is because it actually is just like a really freeing feeling and it's a great workout and I'm not exactly like amazing at longboarding or anything but it's definitely like a good pastime and I really love doing it in college 
because it gets me around the campus faster. You just have to like soak up what the last of the weather, like the good weather that the Mother Earth is giving to you. So um, I just really enjoyed that for this month. And then my September activities favorite actually is um, hiking and where I live is just so incredibly beautiful and I'm so incredibly blessed to grown to have grown up in the place that I have and so um, hiking is definitely important to me or like going and just like spending time out in nature because it is just so beautiful around here so I actually took a hike earlier this week and I took this footage for you guys and um so yeah definitely another thing with soaking up the last rays of sunshine that we're gonna get until winter time and it's just so beautiful so I just wanted to share a clip with you guys of that and that's why it's my favorite activities because it's almost winter and there's still enough time to be outside, so. Okay guys, so I'm going to finish off this video with my last category, which is food. Because we saved the best for last. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about kind of just like a couple things that I realize as a college student are splurging for foods, but um, cheap food doesn't always have good quality. And I am a complete advocate for probiotics. So I am going to be talking about this um, drink. It's so good, oh my gosh. This is the Kavita Sparkling Probiotic Drink. And if you guys haven't had um, kombuka or kefir, um, which is like a yogurt or like Greek yogurt with probiotics, or um, you don't know what probiotics, probiotics are. Probiotics are basically just the good bacteria for your body and it just like helps you stay like regulated with everything inside yourself and um I have just been super duper into that. So this is honestly one of my favorite ways to keep probiotics in my body. If you guys don't like yogurt then um I'd really recommend probiotic drinks. Um there are a couple different fermented teas that I like to get um from kombuka or that have chia seeds in them but the Kevita <laughs> Sparkling probiotic drinks definitely are like the least nasty tasting, but they're still like kind of okay for you kind of thing. So I've just been loving, loving, loving these. For a snack, I've been honestly like eating these um, Brookside dark chocolate pomegranate flavored little like chocolate covered candy things. And these things are so flipping good, like especially if you can afford it. This has been my go-to snack because like a lot of the time I just like eat mac and cheese and ramen noodles and those kind of just have like regular base flavors and I don't want to eat like a ton of cookies or something. So I just grab a little handful of these and that takes care of my sweet tooth for the day. All right guys, so that is going to be it for my favorites video. Thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with me today. I enjoy showing my favorite stuff to you guys and I hope you enjoy seeing it. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or um, video requests or anything, please don't forget to comment down below. I do respond to most of my comments some of the time. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys so, 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 so much and I will see you next week. Bye!